It's por I've por made porcelain um, slips. So what I did was I, um, so technical this. I ground <laughs> the dry porcelain with the hammer. Okay, dry porcelain. Yeah. So, is that fired stuff? Or no. no, raw. In order just to get the porcelain powder, really. Okay. So, how did you get the porcelain in the first place? It comes in bags, just like all the other clay. Right. But, but, but in this form, does it look like that? No, no, bags? no, no. It, it, it's wet it's wet and hard. Oh, so yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so somebody made some stuff, they didn't want it, and so rather so than dry, so yeah, reusing. recycling and wetting okay. it, I've left it dry, and then I've crushed it, made it into a powder, I've added um, roughly 10% colour stain. 10% colour stain? Yeah, because Paul was looking and What's saying... That look like? Is that in the jar or something? That comes in a packet, I can show you the colour. Okay. It's just a powdered, coloured powdered. Okay, nice. And so 10% roughly colour yeah. to clay powder. powder. And then add water and put through. Didn't we didn't I didn't film this process because no, no. Normally you get a technician to do this for you. <laughs> Sieve the whole thing. And then hopefully, no lumps. It's a little bit streaky. It, 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 it possibly needs to go through a finer sieve. What, again? Or put, or put through the sieve again, yeah. Okay. Just because so it, I can still see a little bit of the clay here. So powder colour, water, then sieve then maybe sieve again. Yeah. And just paddle like that. Yeah. Is the streakiness a problem? Or is it just a visual thing that we don't want it uneven? It, for me, I, I, if you want just plain blue, yeah. there's a problem. Yeah. If you don't mind having it looking a bit marbled with the white. Yeah, I see. Do you mind? No, not a while. This is a you know, first, first go experiment. Yeah. So what's going to happen with that then when it's mixed? This will then get poured into... Yeah, we should do it. Would you just get the clay? Yeah, yeah. It's mainly um, the stuff that's... Just because all that will be white. Yeah, of course, yeah. So if what you want is blue... And so what we're aiming for is something yeah. that's going to come out a little bit like this, hopefully. And um, it didn't leak, did it, before? It the mould doesn't leak, does it? So they will go back together at the same time. Quite important is because I'm using this mould not just for slip casting, I'm going to use it to make some paper spheres, um, wax spheres, uh, something else. The same mould? Yeah, same mould. People are using it. Yeah. In the tubes? Bicycle in the tubes? Yeah, recycled. I mean, much, I mean, they're just the perfect thing, really. They've got the right tension, you can adjust them. Unlike having a big selection of rubber bands that are never the right size. Um, and it, it makes you feel less bad about when you have a puncture. You think, oh, at least that will come in handy. But 
perfect amount there. Roughly a kilo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put this in here. What's happening? I'm just filling it right up. So it fills up. Fills the whole thing. Yeah. Actually, you're going to overfill it. Right. Yeah. You see it. Rise because up. while the wall of the sphere is forming, the water is being absorbed by the mould, and all of it sinks a little bit. So what you do is you overfill it, and in fact, if it sinks too much, you could add more while it's forming the okay. sphere. And then the, so it's not solid and it's hollow inside. When there's enough of a wall, then we'll turn it upside down and pour the excess out. You see, look, just here, look, it, this is actually shrinking already. Does this mix take a long time to go off? When did you start mixing this up, this mix? Um, you mean to set to to for see, the yeah, thickness? Yeah. I mean, is it a um, quick process that you've got to <coughs> get this poured and this done? This will take about half an hour, won't it? No, yeah, I mean, the actual reckon... mix, when you're mixing that... But this won't set. This, that won't set at this all. Won't okay. Okay. What's, so setting, what's setting this slip is the, plaster. Is the absorption yeah. of, the, of the plaster there. Okay. Yeah. Which is something I'm learning about. Yeah. And obviously the necessity for the plaster to be dry. Oh, okay. You just mix the plaster up, then that's still wet. Uh, and obviously warm environments make it go quicker. It's, it's still sinking. Yeah. I was surprised at that when I first did it. Filled it up, you think, cavity filled. What is it to do? Oh. But that's, that's the absorption of the water taking place already then, man, I guess, isn't it? Okay, so, so it's happening you're going to fill quickly. this up, keep yeah. topping it up. Yeah, leave it. And then leave it for how long? What do you think, about half an hour? We're going to leave it half an hour. Yeah. Half an hour, yeah. and then what? tip out the stuff that's still liquid and that would be the central stuff that hasn't been absorbed right. so it, it's forming a skin and, you, and in a moment well you can almost see it happening now Chris look see see where it's contacted the plaster sure. that's drying now isn't it look okay. wet and shiny there yeah. but it's all sort of drying and that's what's wiring. happening inside as well so this this is drying up it's going off uh, how do you gauge the thickness of the well, man it, experience it really just experience yeah 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 time and chance so half an hour would give you a what? Uh, half an hour is giving us fairly thick, actually. Yeah. Fairly thick. I mean, you could do it less, but obviously we're we, we're not worried about how thick or thin the wall no. is. No. Okay. So if you, this is know. this really demonstrates how quickly the absorption is taking place. So there is it's overflow. Like sucking it from the outside. And then if you just watch the centre here, it starts sinking almost immediately. Mm. Yeah. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. And as it dries, it becomes matte. Look, you can yeah. see where it's dried. Yeah. It loses that glossy surface. Yeah. 